Alright, we're going to get right into it. Because this level, it's not the most difficult level as far as the level itself. But it's pretty long. And uh, I only have so much storage space on my phone. <laughs> so, uh, no flashy intro just for this one. Um, the boss at the end of this, I'd say, overall is definitely the most annoying and probably the most difficult boss. It's called the Boo Beam Trap. And uh, it's definitely uh, an annoying boss. And there's only a specific way you can kill it. And it's kind of actually a puzzle. The closest thing to a puzzle in this game. You'll see that in a minute. So the first challenge in this level, you got these uh, false floors that look like they're solid, but they're not. And uh, they're kind of annoying. But there's a trick to them. And the trick to them is use the bubble weapon to identify where the false floor is, which you'll see. see here the bubble weapon is indispensable. You can identify and try to memorize where that false floor is. Because where the bubble goes down, that's where you need to jump. Um, otherwise, now here it's very critical because you'll fall to your death otherwise. So you either do it through trial and error and lose your lives or you figure out that you can use the bubble weapon to identify where the false ground is. Now, those things, th there's also false floors guarding them. Um, I decided not to go for it, even though it's an energy tank. I already have two. Um, I probably should have grabbed it, but it's kind of annoying. You have to use item one to float up through the false floor and everything. All right. Next, we've got... This is the one time I'm going to tell you to not fall down the ladder. You need to climb down it, even though if the atheists are right, it might waste some of your time. But the thing is, you've got to, uh, you can't just fall down these ladders. Now this part, I don't know how you would do it without the wood shield. Uh, I imagine you can do it, but it's difficult. The wood shield definitely helps though. And now what's interesting with this room, you can't, you ha you can't ride it through there. Mega Man won't fit. So you have to know where to jump off. And the next one, I can't imagine doing this without the wood shield. So, definitely with that wood shield, it just makes it a heck of a lot easier. Um, and you want to, you don't want to jump too early, because if you jump too early, you'll hit the spikes. So just stay on it, and be patient, and you'll get to the bottom there. And they, these cylinder enemies, they, uh... They're unique in that they never stop. They'll just keep regenerating forever. Now, this part, you can use item two, the kind of the jet scooter thing to get over this, but you can make it with a very special jump. You can't ride it up there because Mega Man will fall off. It's too tight, but you have to jump just precisely so, and I got lucky here, but this jump is very difficult. Honestly, I'd recommend you just use item two and jet scooter across it. And, of course, we got to finish up with just a gauntlet of uh, Sniper Joes, which I found out the boomerang works well on them. So I, I started fighting them, and then after a while I realized, you know what, I just need to get through them. Because usually when I see these things, I'm just like, alright, I need to just get through them. They've got a lot of life, and they take a while to beat. <laughs> so coming up in the next room is the called the Boo Beam Trap. It's these series of turrets that shoot at you every few seconds, and there's only one weapon that works on them, and it's the crash bomb. But you have to be you have to have full crash bomb energy. You have to have full crash bomb energy, and you have to be very precise in how you use them. If you mess up once, you're screwed. Because nothing else will hurt them. You must use a crash bomb on them. So <laughs> enjoy enjoy this slug fest.
Now as you can see, the only thing that'll kill those walls is the crash bomb. But you have to take care that you only destroy the absolute minimum number of walls that you need to destroy, or you're going to run out of ammo. And if you run out of ammo, it's impossible to beat this thing. You must save those crash bombs, so you have to use the absolute minimum number of crash bombs that you possibly can to win this. So that means you're going to have to leave a bunch of these walls up. Um, and, and this last part is just so freaking annoying, just trying to get it right. I... I struggled so intensely here, and it's just so annoying. Cause you have to you have to try to get up there with item one, and it's just such a pain in the freaking butt. I mean, this is like this is definitely the annoying part of Mega Man. Fortunately, I made it up there, and it looks like we're gonna have victory. Yes. All right, stay tuned. There's gonna be a very special one next with good music. Um, I'm going to do a premiere for it. I don't know the time for it, but sometime this weekend I'll try to do a premiere of it. Um, so stay tuned. Maximum Entertainment. Yeah!